So with that said, you know, how should we speak to policymakers about existential and global catastrophic risks? And I want to talk through a couple of different lenses and frameworks for, for doing so. And here I've just represented a um, sort of a snapshot of all the risks that you, you, you've been discussing uh, in the last day and, and today. Um, oh, there's many different ways you can slice the set of risks. This is just you know, my very quick inter, you know, interpretation or structure around it. There are environmental risks, technological risks, biological risks, risks weapons risks, and, and natural and cosmic risks. Um, so that's you know, one set of grouping and some, some of those fall into, uh, fall into multiple buckets at the same time. You know, another lens is the anthropogenic versus non-anthropogenic. So those that are human uh, driven versus those that are, uh, are not a result of human activity. Or, you know, future and current risks, you know, that might be another lens. I guess the point I'm trying to make here is that the way we think about these risks is, uh, and it might be self-evident, is through a risk lens. And um, that, you know, that's sort of a... a um, a natural outcome of the way we see these issues and the way uh, we think about these issues and the way we need to develop expertise around some of the issues. You know, if you're a, a, an expert on or, or um, thinking about climate change, you're going to think about um, existential climate change risk. If you're an expert on nuclear weapons, et, you know, et cetera. Um, but it isn't the only way that we can think about risk. And especially from a policy perspective, there are potentially some other lenses that we might want to take um, to to communicate and um, shape policy. 